How to Manage Money. Start now. Tips and Ideas. Hi everyone. My name is Lori and I work here at the Kingsville Public Library. We are doing our life skill tutorials and I wanted to share a little bit of information that I gathered. I gathered a little bit of my information from here at the library. We have some books and we have a great tech person and he actually shared a little clip with you. Hello everyone, this is David, the digital literacy trainer here at the Kingsville Public Library. Today we're going to be talking about the money budgeting app, Pocket Guard. It's the app that lets you spend less and save more. Now the first thing that I want to point out is that all of these numbers have been made up for this presentation. Pocket Guard lets you quickly and easily input your expenses so you can better keep track of where your money is going. And one other thing that I'd like to point out is that Pocket Guard is a completely free app, so you will see a few ads coming in. Um, nothing too invasive or large, but see that small lower this bill little advertisement right there? Just little things like that might pop up across the app, but again, it's 100% free to use. And from the bills section of Pocket Guard, you can input monthly bills and then add the dates that they are due. This makes it very convenient for tracking your reoccurring bills. And Pocket Guard will even send you a text message when the bill is coming up or when it has already been paid. The app will also let you input and customize your own categories, and you can edit any of these sections anytime you need to. Another great feature is that you can link multiple accounts to the Pocket Guard app for a comprehensive look at your spending across multiple platforms. It can sometimes be very handy to see all of your accounts in one place. You can input your credit cards, your various bank accounts, your cash accounts, um, investments, lots of, lots of different things that you can put in so that you can get an overall comprehensive look at your finances. And the question that everyone should ask with any free app, especially one dealing with money, is, is Pocket Guard secure? Well, Pocket Guard uses 256-bit SSL encryption for the data that it sends. Now, this is the same encryption used by major banks. So if you've ever done any type of online banking or used a banking mobile app, Pocket Guard has the same level of security as those. That's all for this overview on the money budgeting app Pocket Guard. Hey, this project was made possible in part by the Institute of Museum and Library Services in the State Library of Ohio. Once again, I'm David, the digital literacy trainer here at the Kingsville Public Library. If you ever have any technology issues or you just want to chat about what the future of technology holds, stop into the library or you can email me at pctech at kingsvillelibrary.org. Have a great day, everyone. I also spoke with a teller at a bank, and she gave me a little bit of information in regards to checking accounts and savings accounts and some of the policies that banks have. Uh, the one thing I wanted to let you know that banks now have mobile apps that you can put on your phone. You can make deposits without going to the actual bank. You can do it with your phone. You can go to ATMs, so you have much more access to your money and managing your money now than ever in the past. So, the future looks good for you as far as keeping your money managed. Um, I wanted to let you know that if you are under 18, uh, you will need someone to be on the account with you. When you turn 18, you will be able to have the account on your own. Um, putting money aside and saving for a later date, whether you're thinking about college, you're thinking about a car, you're thinking about a home, you are thinking about weddings, whatever you have in store for your future, uh, we, we have to put money aside for those big ticket items that happen in our life. Uh, most jobs do not like 
give you a big lump sum of money. So therefore, you saving is setting the foundation for your future. So taking those steps and building that foundation is what is going to make your life easier as you get older. Start early and watch your money grow. You start real young, putting it in a piggy bank, and then you graduate to a big jar or something like that, to save the money. Then you start putting your money in a bank. And after that, you take your money and invest it and watch it grow. Just as if you were sick and you went to a doctor and the doctor helped you to get better, a financial planner or a banker, uh, they are the professionals. They help you to make those decisions. Just as a doctor does for medical reasons, they do that for financial reasons. A bank. A bank has people that work there that are there for you to help direct you in the places you need to go and save money for what you need to save it for. Money plus time equals growth. There is something with compound interest. With compound interest, you want to give yourself as much time as you possibly can because the sooner that you can start saving and investing in your future, the more time you'll have to take advantage of the power of compounding because you start your foundation and then you add to it and it keeps building and growing and building and growing and building and growing. Those little steps that you take back here will help you later on in the future. So hopefully all of this sparks a little bit of curiosity for you to look ahead to your future and think about how you can make a difference later on by doing something now. Here's a famous quote from Albert Einstein. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays it. Invest in your future. Only you can do it. You start out young and you save for later on the later you. Here are a few additional resources at the library to get you started with saving for your future. We have tools to assist you here at the library. Your future starts today. Hi everyone. Whatever stage you're at in your saving career. Um, if you're still in school and you're getting uh, an allowance or you're getting paid for side jobs or you have your first job and you are starting to put money away, this is the time to think about your future. I hope this tutorial sparks a little curiosity for you to take it to the next step whether you get information from the library, um, from the tech uh, tutorial that we had, or other tech advice that you can get online. However you do it, get information to look ahead for your future because your future is about you. You can decide to save money each week from different sources Go for the tools that you need to build your future, whether it be at a bank or a credit union or a financial planner. Look ahead, that first job that you have, look to all the benefits that they're offering you and make sure that those steps you're taking aren't just about that paycheck, but the benefits that will help you in the long run. Good luck with your financial planning. Have a great day.